Okay, so let me talk you through the process of the cell cycle in eukaryotes. So from the previous slide, we learned that the cell cycle consists of interphase, correct? An interphase is the phase in which the cell is going to spend most of its lifetime, right? So interphase consists of three time periods, if you will, or three, three other phases. One's called G1, which is the first gap phase. In G1, the cell is basically growing. And so it's just being a busy little cell. I mean, it's doing lots of protein synthesis to manufacture enzymes and other you know, proteins needed for other cellular activities. It's metabolizing, etc doing a lot of growing. Then following G1, you had the S phase. S stands for synthesis. So what's happening in the S phase of interphase is that uh, the, the DNA is, is duplicating. So DNA replication or DNA synthesis, hence the term synthesis for the S phase. So DNA replication, DNA synthesis, DNA duplication, um, whichever way you want to think about it. So, in this phase, we're going from what would be unduplicated chromosomes to being what would be called duplicated chromosomes, if you remember that from an earlier slide. After the uh, cell goes through the S phase, it's then going to enter the second gap phase, which is called G2. And in G2, again, the cell is simply growing, continue to just be a busy little cell cell is growing. Okay. Now, once it's completed interphase, then it's going to go into what's known as the mitotic phase, which will consist of mitosis followed by cytokinesis. So in mitosis, we had the following phases. In mitosis, we have prophase. We have metaphase. We have anaphase. And we have telophase. So PMAT, you can think P for prophase, M metaphase, anaphase, telophase. Okay, so we're going to have a discussion on what sorts of things are happening in each one of those phases. But for right now, we're going to just say that essentially at the end of telophase, we have separated the nucleus. So we're going to now have two nuclei. And then what we need to do is we need to separate the cytoplasm, and that is cytokinesis. And I just looked up here, um, cytokinesis, and I got ahead of myself and didn't spell that correctly. There we go. Um, in cytokinesis, what's going to happen is that the cytoplasm is going to be split. Split the two cells, separate the cytoplasm. Squishing it in here. There we go. Um, and that's going to complete the process of the cell cycle. But we do need to go through and talk about um, what happens in each one of the phases in mitosis and how does cytokinesis take place.